What's going on guys? Welcome back. In case you don't remember, my name is Culprit. It has been a while. I'm pretty excited to get it back into this. It's kind of funny as I fire up the microphone, the intro, you know, my, my old intro just kind of comes out, but I don't really want it to just be the same as it was because that's not fair to you. I need to acknowledge the fact that I haven't been uh, recording anything in a while. Uh, I haven't been doing much. I, I should have looked. I meant to look at the time date, but I didn't. It's probably better that I didn't because I don't want to be depressed. Certainly been a long time. Uh, for any of you that have watched my videos before, if you have watched my videos before, you're going to understand as we get into this game, which is called Stonehearth, uh, it's very similar to a game that was very, very uh, beloved by me. Uh, I love the game of Timber and Stone. The game is, you know, it's dead now, it's abandoned, unfortunately, but uh, this game actually has a lot of similarities to it. Um, it's ironic because I, th I believe, I remember it, I was trying to think about this today, I think I kickstarted this game and Timber and Stone at the same time, like within the same month. So many years ago, two or three years ago, probably the Timber Zones had its whole a whole life cycle. If you've watched, I've done like four, four let's plays. Excuse me, of that plus the time off I've had over a year now. So that game's had a whole life life span. It's now been abandoned. It's done. Whereas this game is now just basically just kind of getting to the point where you can play it. And, and I've actually had this game for a while. I have tinkered with it here or there. Last time was probably at least a year ago, maybe closer to two. There just wasn't much there. There wasn't. There certainly wasn't any threat. And so I don't like to make just sandbox creative Let's Plays. I like there to be a little bit of threat. So I'm a little worried that this one won't live up. It won't have that tension that I like to have in my Let's Plays. But I figured this game was worth showing. And because it harkens me back so much to Timber and Stone, which I love and I miss, um, I figured I'd give it a go. But let me uh, preface it all. You're seeing the creation here. We're about to create our kingdom. Um, but I don't know much about this game. I, I don't know the ins and outs of it. Uh, so I'm going to be very derpy. I'm going to be very newbie. Uh, but that, that's the fun of the game. We're going to discover it on our own. Hopefully season two, then we can start to look towards the efficiency. You know, if those of you that have been around a while know that that's what I really like to do, how to efficiently get to get from point A to point B, get strong, do things very efficiently and, and get your community and your, your colony management, a la RimWorld, Timber and Stone, Prison Architect, all these different little manager games and, and kind of get things running smoothly as quickly as possible to that end. When I when we get to the last option, which is going to be hard, normal, uh, easy, I'm going to speak to that in just one minute. But what we're going to do, I'm actually do Rise Children. I don't, for what I can tell, there's no real difference. Um, these are the descendancy. I've played them a couple times. They're your classic in the woods, uh, woodland kind of kingdom. I, nothing wrong with them. Uh, I find them actually a little easier. There's a there's an abundance of wood and forest around. You can build stuff very quickly. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to go away from that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mix it up. I don't really know the story of these, uh, but we're just going to go with the children because they um, they basically live in the desert. I, I, th I think you can pick both, but I, I always pick the desert with them. Uh, for me, it just kind of provides a little bit more of a challenge. Actually, I guess they can both do the desert. I, I don't exactly know. Yeah, like default home of Rise children, but I guess I could pick the temperate forest here. I'm not going to do that, though. We're, we're going to stick to their defaults. Uh, this is the story of the brave band of settlers from Raya, uh, that's how I'm going to say it. Children, a society of charming, wily traders. Seeking new lands and adventure, they set off to the desert. Um, the desert of Paumum. Uh, I can't read behind it. So here, let me speak to this a little bit. Now, I, I immediately jumped into hard. I, I've played probably, I've started the game up maybe an hour, probably two or three startups of about an hour, because to me, that's like the most important thing. If you mess up within an hour of, of these types of games, you could really set yourself back and really hurt yourself. You could basically doom your colony, and that certainly happened. I don't think hard is balanced very well. They do throw some hard stuff at you. Sorry, I just heard a weird noise. It's kind of my first time doing this in a while, so I'm a little uh, paranoid. Uh, it's the first time I'm doing it, so my family's not used to it, so I'm just waiting for someone to barge in or something, but everybody should be asleep. I feel like hard throws hard monsters at you. I mean, no doy. <laughs> but, uh, and that's cool. I'm actually uh, and excited about that, but I'm not going to choose that here. I'm going to go with normal just to, so you guys can get a sense of what a normal gameplay is. And like I said, uh, if, if this if this Let's Play dies out and we start over, or if it goes on for a while and we decide to restart, we will then go to hard. But I want to kind of figure out the starting, the first, like I said, first hour or two or three hours, because I, I haven't had one yet that I've started. Let's say I've run three startups for about an hour. I haven't had one that's successful. They they Typically, there's there seems to be a trigger in there. Either one profession I get, or maybe when I start mining out copper or silver or gold or something like that. My wealth seems to trigger something and they just throw some monster. The, the latest one was one of these troll guys that you see right here. Um, and he just decimated everybody. I had like two soldiers, didn't have any good gear yet because I just hadn't gotten there yet. And I believe it was the blacksmith. I had just gotten the blacksmith and I feel like that's what triggered it. So I was just kind of like, well, if I need the blacksmith to defeat him, uh, I just didn't know. So 
I haven't figured out exactly what the trigger is yet. And until you figure that out, I don't know if I have a good chance. Because then the most recent one threw me a giant wolf. Not just normal wolf, which we'll see. A giant wolf, which hopefully we won't see right away anyway. And he just decimated everybody, ate the whole colony. And I was, there was just literally nothing I could do. I had already made the mistake. That's why I'm saying like it's so important in the early first hour or so. I'd already made that mistake. I just had to sit there and watch and pay for it. So without further ado, let's get into it. That's why we're going to do the normal difficulty. Just so we can get a sense of what normal is. And then I'm very anxious to move up and hopefully figure out a way to survive that first kind of hour or two and then we can go on because i would like to have the difficulty level higher as we play because it, I, these things tend to get a little boring for me if they're not challenged and i want to see big bands of orcs and goblins and trolls and things attacking whatever it is that we build i, I think that sounds pretty cool Oh, let's see. They set off to the desert of Palmoon, a uh, location that is sure to be an inspiring place to start anew. Okay, so there we go. That that That's our little backstory. We got our expeditions. I don't really spend much time in this. I kind of take what we get. I might re-roll these guys now. But the only thing I really care about is, is a couple good soldiers. And soldiers are basically body. So if you if you read the details, you know, combatants and physical activities, they will be a bit faster, attack harder, live longer, influence muscle, speed, stamina. Uh, and spirit. Spirit is basically courage and uh, willpower, and, and they won't flee so much. So you kind of want these two to be high. Like this guy right here would be pretty darn good. It's a shame that his mind is kind of... Uh, wasted on us or what would in, in effect be a soldier he's not the only good soldier i see so i'm gonna re-roll hopefully we can get i'd like to get two like there's nobody really good here in my mind unless i'm doing something wrong so we're just gonna keep rolling it's all random so this is kind of for me it's fair play maybe not necessary wow there's there's just garbage rolls i should have kept the first one there's a good body with yeah all right here we go we got a couple four fours we might yeah you know what that's not bad because that yeah these will be good crafter good crafter Good soldier. She's already got the, you know, the, the Rambo headband. That's good. Oh, he's got the mutton chops. He's our, he's our warrior. There you go. Smadge. I don't know what the heck that is. I should see if I could rename these players. I don't know if I did. If I can, that's something I like to do uh, for people who comment and support and things like that. So this is going to be our crew here. We're going to have Smadge. He's going to be our first soldier because he just looks like Wolverine. She is going to probably be our second one at some point. Uh, he's going to be a pretty good crafter. I mean, the body's not great. This, this should be our main crafter here. Good, uh, good mind to gain crafting quickly. Decent body, decent, you know, that kind of stuff. These guys, they're just decent grunts. Now, here's something I, 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 I don't do too often. Now, Trapper's Knife, you buy it, as 150. I don't do that. I, I leave that off. I'll get that from the trader at some point. I like to start with a hoe, a soldier. Uh, I might as well start... Start with a weaver, but I don't think I'm gonna use it right away. But I hope that I hope that game sound is not too loud. Let me let me let me speak about that a second too. So here we go. We are gonna embark. There we go. Now we're into our maps. Uh guys, keep in mind, please. I haven't done this in a while. I am now going to be rendering this and editing this on Adobe Premiere, a program I've never used before. All my thousand videos for YouTube I made previously were all done in Vegas. They were all recorded through DX Story. This time I decided to kind of take this fresh start and learn Adobe Premiere. Um, everybody says it's the best. It was time to learn. Uh, I like to take those like little setbacks and, and vacations and time off and resets, if you will, to kind of and to broaden my horizons and learn new things. So there you go. My editing is not going to be very good, uh, this, which will probably be reflected mostly in the sound, unfortunately. But I will work at it, and I will get it right, I promise. Any feedback, please uh, put it in the comments below. Let me know what you like, what you don't like, what I can improve. Please don't feel uh, hesitant. I'm looking for that, actually. It helps me out a lot. Um, so here we go. Here is our map. Um, basically what I like to look for, I don't really see much in here. I pretty much look for a nice water. I don't know that you need water. Just for me, I feel like we should have kind of water. If we're going to be farming in the desert, we should have some source of water. So I just kind of flip through quickly to see if I can find a nice central water location. Like this is actually pretty good. Um, yeah, cause we can either dig into this hill or this, this hill here. Like I look for mountains too, obviously for minerals, so I'm thinking... We flip the map around. We build our little... Let's re-roll, though. Actually... Uh, nah, that's pretty good in there. I don't know what that is, but... We got some good minerals up in here. We don't really have any trees. Let's roll. I'm not in love with that. I'm sorry to be wasting your time, but... These are the things I, uh, I, I kind of fuss over. I debated actually setting all this up for you guys ahead of time. This actually might be interesting. In between, I like this. We'll do this in between the two ponds. We've got a little bit of mountain here. This guy's kind of intriguing, but I like. I feel like we could do something here with the village in between the two ponds here. So this is where we're going to go, and away we go. 
But yeah, I did I did uh, ponder setting all this up for you guys, just dropping in. But I figured some of you guys are checking this out or thinking of buying the game. I have noticed a lot of streamers that have been uh, streaming this out of the blue recently. So I'm assuming they're kind of doing a little bit of a marketing campaign. I was going to hold off. That's really loud on my end. I hope it's not so loud for you guys. I was going to hold off because I heard and read some grumblings about a potential update. But I didn't want to. I didn't want to wait anymore. All right, so there's actually some decent trees here. That's pretty good. So what I'm thinking is, we got that in there. I'm thinking here. Let's see. I, I the one thing I don't like about this game, to be honest with you, is I don't like this whole cliff system. I much prefer the Timber and Stone single tier. You can do it. It just takes a lot of time to do that. So <clears throat> what I'm thinking. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how I want to. This is something I would probably fuss over for 20 minutes <laughs> offline just by myself staring at it, getting inspiration. That's not something you guys want to see. So what I'm thinking here. We might just do steps, but then I feel like we're going to be so far away from where I want to be as far as like, I don't care. I think it'll end up looking cool. So. All right. We. Here's what I'm thinking, just roughly. We're going to put the, the cave into here that goes into the mountain. It's going to be our first early temporary home. It's going to be our base. It's going to be, our obviously, our mining operations. Leave that. You step down. Up here, I think, might be the fort proper. We're going to do a little uh, keep, if you will. We'll do This will be like our f castle fortified thing. I, I'm just thinking of a design, whether we ever get there. And down here, we'll do the farms and like the houses and the, and the shops and things. This will be kind of the vi village city. And again, here will be kind of the fort, the keep. And then up in here will be the kind of really into the inner inner sanctum. And what I think we're going to do then, we're going to put, we'll put that here for now. We can, we can move it. That's really loud again. I apologize. Uh, Helm's Derp. That's what I've been calling these little mountainside ones. So there we go. Helm's Derp. And uh, that, that that's our little village. Oh, we got some. What's up here? Is that gold? Oh, that's pretty good. But we are not going to mine that yet because as I said, I have a feeling that that's kind of part of my problem. All right, so Smash, he was Smash, just sounds pretty good. He's our warrior, so hello, Mr. Footman. You are in, invoked as, oh, that's interesting. I didn't, I never saw that, I just never noticed that graphic. Okay, so what else have we got? We've got someone who has a decent body, he's at mind. That's the, that's, yeah, that's the, one, that's the other bad body bit. I, so I haven't, this is one of those things I just haven't figured out, like, this guy's not bad. His mind and spirit is pretty terrible. Now, see, because body will make them, right? Muscle, speed, stamina. You know, I feel like those are good things. All right, so let's see. Um, good mind. Do we have anybody else that's like... All right, I said this guy's going to be our main. Uh, I guess we'll make him Potter, because then he'll move the Mason. I think that's the best way to go there. All right, let's let those guys pick those things up. All right, all right, all right, yeah. Let's, let's, let's set some things in, in, in motion here. We're going to get rid of these trees. Wood is going to be a very limiting factor for us here. You know, we're in the desert. That's the thing. We could have picked the temperate. Actually, I don't know that I want to do that. I like to leave the little trees... See, I, I have not yet noticed if they do, uh, like, grow. I, I assume they do. I just have not ha actually noticed yet. So we're just going to kind of give these guys some tasks to do, because I hate having them sit around. I don't want to keep it paused on you guys for too long. Well, I'm not sure. Oh, that's just okay. That's for medicine. This is some cloth. Uh, again, just giving him some tasks to do. We're going to get to mining here pretty quickly, too. All right. And then lastly, we need to set up... Oh, get that stuff. It's going to be the mine. Kind of feel like... I hate that location. I really am not crazy about the location of this place. But I'm cutting all those trees down, aren't I? Yes, I am. So 
20 by 20 right there. I'm, I'm not going to fuss about it too bad. All right, so we're going to set these guys in motion. I think that's all I really kind of need to do this second. What we are going to do, though, we're going to step these up. I forget what I was speaking about. Try to make a little bit of a staircase so that they can walk up and down. Uh, like I said, I don't really like the cliffs too much. Oh, that's right. We need it. We definitely need to set up a farm. Oh, what is going on here? Um, these controls are not very good. Like I said I'm not crazy about the. Oh, let me just before I lose my train of thought again. Uh, mind, spirit, body. Yeah, let's let's make her Arya. She should be the assassin, I think. Where do we go, the farmer? Because farmers, in my opinion, they seem to reach a decent point much quicker. All right, so these guys can walk up here. Very good. I'm just being careful right now because it could be a pain in the butt if you mess these up. I'm just going to have them mine that out. I just want to make it so that they can all. All right. And once that's cleaned up. All right. I've already lost my train of thought. I apologize. It's not going to be a very exciting episode. It's just us kind of getting set up and underway. Um, but overall, I am enjoying the game. I, 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 for what I've little I've played of it, it does have a ton of potential. I knew that beforehand. It's it's just a question of how far along are they? I was I was speaking that there was gonna there is going to be an update coming here very shortly. I was kind of debating whether I should start this up. And now that I have, I know the update will probably come tomorrow. It's just basically them giving us basically a starter bundle. Help us along our way. Help us kind of um, get going. Now, I, I like to typically... Is that how I'm going to do this today? I, I want to think here. I like to typically put my farms down by the water. I feel like that's kind of makes more sense and i think we'll probably stick that out we'll put the farms along here then somewhere in here we'll put the cook's house yeah and then we'll kind of put the eating place down here i think that probably fits it's not gonna be the most efficient build but i'm trying to go for aesthetics too i'm trying to kind of get a big overall plan here so that's what we're gonna do kind of gonna be a little annoying and we'll put one there and that's going to be carrot. I like to load up on carrot because it grows the fastest. So I do two carrot. Um, my thinking is much prettier than just tasty. All right, we'll do the long one there. Give them something to, to eat. Well, yeah, we're going to have that tree get out of here. Okay, so let's let them run. Um, I'm hoping that we don't run into any bugs. Uh, there have been some reports. I've read quite a few bugs and, and building, especially there's some tricks to, to try to avoid and, and not, not run into mainly things like just only build one building at a time. All right. So we're going to build into here. So let's slice this down. Wow. Oh, okay. Here we go. I don't really like that, but we'll, we'll be fine with that. I'm going to remove that. I don't really care for that. I'm going to make this a dormitory for now because we, like I said, we will eventually put the food systems down here. Uh, let's get some, get these guys built up the potter. You can make your kiln. Make your wheel. Or what's up? I'm gonna just do up a mason's so this way. As soon as he can get it, he will do it. I always use these up. I, I have him do about ten of these. These are always I can sell these. They get me some good um, skill. And we're actually gonna have a couple of these made up. What do we have? We have seven. I make ten of them up. They're not very expensive. And beds are one of the good things because in order to get people, uh, I need. Basically, every day you have a food, 
threshold you have to be passed. You have to have a uh, morale threshold, and you have to have a, a net worth um, to get new people. And new people is like the biggest commodity you, you need uh, initially. So here we're just going to kind of collect some. What is this? Oh, okay. Really? Why is that there? That's weird. All right. So we're going to set him. I'm very confused right now why that is just sitting there. We're going to do him like this. These things are all get moved. These will all get moved. Now, uh, that's why. I forgot I went in the settings and I changed it to every new storage area, pot, whatever, is all going to be set to none. Uh, by default, it's typically set to all, which as you play along, it, that kind of gets a little annoying. But the first one, obviously, I wanted to set to all. So a couple things I did just change, so you'll see me stumbled that. A uh, nice little sip of my Imperial Stout. Excellent, excellent coffee, chocolate, Imperial Stout. Very good on this snowy night. Uh, if you guys are watching this late and it's the summer, you're going to think I'm crazy. But it's actually uh, January here and it is snowing, so it's quite appropriate. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna call it there. We didn't do much here. We just talked a little bit. I hope my train of thought wasn't all over the place. Like I said, I'm kind of getting back in the swing of this. Hope you're happy to see me pop up in your uh, sub box again. I'm excited to do this. I miss this. I miss kind of the. I don't know. Like I've been doing streaming a lot. I really enjoy the interaction of streaming. Actually, I love the interaction of streaming. Um, but it doesn't work as easily with my schedule. I'm looking forward to doing YouTube a little bit again, where I can, if I have a couple hours, I can sit down and make a week's worth of content <laughs> and then share with you guys. Whereas streaming, it's just kind of like, you can stream for seven hours one day. That's great. But if you don't stream the next four days, you still only streamed one day, you know, and it's kind of, kind of demoralizes me because my schedule is so unpredictable in that regard. So it's it's nice to kind of get back into this. I hope my editing isn't too bad. As I sit here talking to you, I haven't even tried it yet. I haven't really tried Premiere at all. I'm going to have to do a lot of research. I'm going to have to learn a lot. I, I enjoy the learning process, but I just hope the quality isn't terrible. I hope you enjoyed this. Please uh, let me know what you think. If you're excited to see this game, and if you want me to dive into the harder modes, please let me know. It's something I plan to do, be that in a Let's Play or not. But for now, we're going to start with this one. We've got our overall plan. We're going to build into the mountain a little bit. We're going to set up our temporary stuff, you know, some beds, a dining hall, um, kind of a little bit of a hospital, that kind of stuff. Then we're going to build our structure, our, our fortification up here on this little plateau you see. And then down below, we'll build the city and the buildings around there. We'll get into that in future episodes. Uh, I hope you guys are excited to, to go on this journey with me. I'm just excited to check this game out. I hope it's got all, uh, all I hope it, I hope it has all I hope it has. That's ridiculous. I hope it's at least halfway along to its potential because it does have a great deal. Uh, but we're going to see in future episodes. Until then, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time. Take care.